So I'm going to share this exciting new acquisition. It is a Chinese album uh, from the early 1830s in manuscript. But uh, before I show you what's inside, I'm going to tell you where I got it. So this is the Manhattan Antique Center at 1052nd Avenue. Uh, this is uh, where I have a gallery where I do some of my work. And a lot of my neighbors are important antique dealers. Uh, they get a lot of estates, a lot of fresh material. And this is one of those gems of old New York where you can still make discoveries. It's actually on three floors. And uh, about once a month or so, they have something called a trade day where uh, dealers come out. You don't even have to be in the center here. You can bring a table and you can trade with other dealers. You don't have to buy. They're very anxious to swap. It's a lot of fun. And uh, that is how I acquired my manuscript. So here is the manuscript and I'm really looking at this for the first time or so. So I don't know a lot about it. I can tell you this. I'm familiar with the type of manuscript it is, or I would not have bought it, of course. Um, this is what we call a uh, Chinese pith album. Uh, they were done uh, starting in the early, I think the mid 1820s, early 1830s, mostly in southern China. And a lot of them were made for the tourist trade to bring back. They often depicted uh, local customs, um, uh, flowers, things like that. But this one struck me as extraordinarily unusual and early. Right away, I saw this magnificent opening. Had to grab this manuscript and pretty much, uh, you know, buy it instantly before it was gone. Uh, the interior of a merchant's tea hong or warehouse in Canton. And what struck me as absolutely fascinating about this manuscript is here we go. Lizards! Oh my God. Look at the detail in those creatures. That is so fascinating. I've never seen uh, a... Chinese manuscript with lizards like this before actually. So I'll open another page here. The pages are quite delicate, so I have to be a little bit careful. And here we go. Well I'll have to put that page down and open it here. So magnificent. I mean they're so realistic. I mean they look like they're drawn from life. They probably are. Whoa, look at that stunning manuscript. And this is definitely a manuscript I'm going to research. It has some very interesting uh, notes on the, uh, the label here. And actually it says very clearly that uh, uh, these, let's see, I have to read it with you here. Uh, the lizards uh, from live specimens are caught on the islands. So uh, they are indeed, that's why they look so beautiful. They are indeed live specimens uh, uh, that a very talented artist drew. Uh, so uh, I am going to start research immediately and, uh, you know, check out part two of this video. And I will tell you exactly what I discover about the manuscript.